Hi guys, welcome back to LARP She. I'm Faye, and today I'm here with you guys to do a wish haul, and I'm also here to talk to you about some of the future videos I'm working on. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get started with the haul. Um, I have a number of stationary items that I recently picked up off of Wish, and this is more of a review. I've actually had these items for a while, and I've had some time to kind of play with them, and that's what most of my reviews from here on out are going to be. With the exceptions of, like, mystery boxes like LARP Box, um, I really want to show you guys the items, but also talk to you about the quality of them once I've had a chance to get to play with them a little bit. So I may film unboxings, but usually it'll be you'll see the unboxing and then you'll see a video from like a couple weeks later explaining what I liked and didn't like about the product. So I hope you guys like that format. If you don't, we can always go back to unbo regular unboxings. Just let me know what you think. So the first item to arrive from this particular haul was this seal. It is for sealing wax. Um, I really like it. I think it's really, it's nice and solid. So this is like a solid metal head. And then there is a wooden handle with a screw top. So you can actually change the heads on these. And Wish does sell alternative heads, hopefully all within a generic size range. It'd be very annoying to have to get a different handle. Um, but so far I really like it. Um, I find it very, it's very beautiful and immersive looking. Um, I like the head that I picked, although I found out afterwards that it is actually like a symbol from Cardcaptor Sakura, which I don't watch, so I did not know. Um, but it's nice and solid. The only thing that you do have to watch is you really want to make sure you're using proper sealing wax. I tried sealing it with a candle wax because I was impatient and hadn't received the sealing wax yet and it definitely like got in the grooves so it's gonna take me a couple of seals now to pull that wax out of the grooves um which i kind of regret now the second and third item both arrived today so i will show you the one that's related to the seal and that is this little kit it came with the little spoon which is again brass and wood which i really like because it matches the seal um, the spoon part is a little bendy, so you just have to be careful to, like, bend it back into shape when, when you use it. Um, but it's a nice little, like, good-sized brass spoon. You fill this up and you get exactly the amount to make one seal, which is really nice. So you know that, like, when you've got, like, a decent little pool of wax in there that you're going to get a good-sized seal out of it. Um, and it came in a kit with these little sealing beads, or wax beads and a little tea light so you just hold it over the tea light in order to heat it up um, again i like that it's wooden brass because it's very immersive i like the little ceiling beads they're very cute my only major complaint about this kit i mean i even like that it came with a candle because that was so unnecessary but so useful right um my only issue i don't know if you can see it but these little tiny beads are particularly teeny tiny um, which means that I got a bag of 70 or a pack of 70 and these take about four to fill the spoon and get you a proper sized seal so that's a little bit annoying um, just for practicalities purposes you know you think you're getting 70 seals and you end up getting what's four divided by 70 right um, a lot less <laughs> so that's a downside but if you can live with that it's a pretty good little kit and I, I really do like it I think it's going to be very cool for immersion and I like that I was able to mat that the like I said that the little spoon and the seal that I got in a separate order match well not separate order but separate shop so my last stationary related item is this feather quill um it was a little bit bent when I received it, but the feather bounced back really well. Um, now, this is not a traditional quill because a lot of LARPs um, have live combat throughout the whole time that you're playing. So ink is not a good idea. So this is actually a ballpoint pen on a quill tip. I thought it was really pretty. I still think it's really pretty. The only thing is you can tell that this is plastic. It's not metal. Or if it is, it's a very cheap metal. Um, so that's my only complaint is that this looks a lot more solid than it is and I'm worried about it bending. Um, it writes just fine. I wrote my new character's name on it on the little card just to check it 
and it writes fine. It writes in black, which I like because if it wrote in blue, it would kind of kill part of the illusion, I think, of it being a pen and ink. Um, but it's a lot safer than getting knocked over with a little ink pot sitting next to you open. So I that's that's part of the reason I went for the ballpoint. Again, I think it's a really nice quality item. I would have preferred that this part was actually metal, but when you buy items from Wish, you really can't complain. This was $2, the seal was $5, and the little wax kit was $5, and these are all in Canadian prices. So for the price, I really can't complain. Um, but like I said, I would have liked to see that little part in metal just for the to make it more solid. Um, but yeah, overall, I think they're really beautiful items. I think they're gonna be great for immersion. And like I said, I, writing kits are the one thing that I tend to skimp on. So it was nice that I could get these items cheap and still give that really polished look for the character. So that's everything from the haul. I have t a couple of quick announcements to make. Uh, one of them is I'm gonna be starting a new series called Fit to Fight. Um, and Fit to Fight is going to be about things I am doing to better my LARP experience. So I am tired of not being able to run around with my fellow LARPers. I can't keep up. I get winded easily, because partially because of my weight, partially because I'm just not in shape. Um, I haven't worked on my body. I haven't worked on my cardio. So I'm going to be working on improving my cardio. I'm going to be taking um, lessons in both staff, and I'm also going to be attending regular archery practices to improve my archery. And I'll be taking you guys along on some of that. I'll be talking about the foods that I'm eating to try and um, feel my body better and stuff like that. So this isn't about like necessarily heavily losing weight, although I am hoping that'll be a side effect of trying to get into better shape and eat better. But um, it's not about that. For me, it's about a better life experience and being in a better shape to achieve that life experience. Um, so that's what that one is going to be about. The other thing is that I am working on getting together a live stream for you guys. It's going to be a Q&A about Armistice Arcane, um, specifically about going into Armistice Arcane from multiple perspectives. So I am playing, I am a new person playing a new character, going into the second year of the Armistice, um, having not attended the previous year. Uh, the character was a part of the group that she is a part of. She's a part of the Eclipse. Her name is Elizabeth. Bennett? I want to say Bennett. I think it's Elizabeth Bennett. Um, and she was a part of the Eclipse, but she didn't attend last year's Armistice. Um, Angel is returning as Kiki to play her second year of the Armistice. Kiki attended the first year, was a part of helping get it written up, and is going to be returning to see how things are playing out. Um, and then we've got Kaza, who last year played the governess, uh, Rosemary, and she is retiring the governess and returning as a new character from a new faction, um, which I think is really cool because she's going to have all of this new perspective, but having previously understood how the game worked. Um, and so because we're all three coming from different perspectives, pretty much all three perspectives you could potentially want to try, um, I thought that would be a really fun Q&A to do. So that's what we're going to be doing as part of that Q&A. We're looking at doing it in the next month or so. Um, ideally, I'd like to see our character sheets out before we do the Q&A, but I wanted to at least have our blurbs, which we all now have. So the last thing I want to do is thank um, Angel from Judy Art for her Twitter shout-out, because she saw that I was getting close to 100 subscribers. I actually hadn't noticed. She was the one who noticed. Um, but I want to thank her. I have already had a couple of people mention that they found me that way. So thank you, Angel. That was super sweet of you. And the other thing I want to mention to you guys is I want to do a shout out. And my shout out is to uh, Blurry Films. Um, he is a LARPer. You guys, this guy is so funny. He just did a new video um, doing talking about LARP weapons. And he did it from the perspective of this new persona that he's going to be doing LARP videos. Um of a LARP ranger and he's it's really funny you just you have to go watch it I'll link the video down below I'll link his channel in the end credits he's super sweet super funny um and I just yeah it was he was you definitely need to go check him out because he's hilarious and I I can't like I, I'm living for the LARP ranger guys it's too funny so that's all for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and remember, whether you're a hero or a villain, always be excellent to each other.